you turn to slide 13 at the top of the page, there's a slide with radiologic cuts through the umbilicus in someone with uh, visceral adiposity on the left and more subcutaneous ad adiposity on the right. And the important thing to note here is that this visceral fat really is intercalated all through the organs within the viscera. It actually can be observed uh, within the liver, within muscle, and within, you know, around the heart, for instance. This visceral fat is metabolically much more active and results in high levels of free fatty acids. In muscle tissue, the muscle can metabolize uh, free fatty acids uh, or glucose when there are high levels of free fatty acids around, the muscle does not metabolize glucose well. And so that is thought to be one of the major causes of insulin resistance in muscle. When free fatty acid levels are high, it actually causes beta cells to undergo programmed cell death or apoptosis. So it's thought that this elevation of free fatty acids is very important in the insulin secretory defect. And when free fatty acids are high, the liver has increased energy available to it, drives hepatic glucose production, as well as VLDL synthesis. So high levels of free fatty acids drive not only the hepatic insulin resistance or the hepatic glucose overproduction, but also the lipid abnormalities that we characteristically see in diabetes, including high triglycerides, uh, low HDL, and small dense LDL particles. So this visceral pattern of, of fat distribution is very important in the pathophysiology of uh, diabetes and in the treatment of diabetes, as we'll get to in a moment. We'll 